Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're taking a look today at a very inexpensive laser printer from HP. This is the LaserJet Pro M12W. It costs about $91 and this printer is very well suited for people who are uh, not printing all that often and are getting frustrated with their inkjet printers which use up all that ink just to get themselves cleaned out. You don't have that problem with these laser printers. They print a little faster. They are sharper but black and white only. We'll be exploring some of its pros and cons here in just a second but I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and no one is reviewing this content before it is posted. All right, so let's take a closer look at the hardware now. Uh, you've got your paper feeder right here. It holds about 150 pages. You can put it in an envelope and some other stuff too if you want to use a smaller form factor, but it looks like uh, legal size paper is probably about the max that it will take. It will fold up pretty nicely here, so if you don't print all that often and don't want this tray taking up all this room on your desk, uh, you can have it fold down only when you need to print to it. It does have a toner cartridge, of course, which is accessible through uh, the top here and this toner cartridge right now looks like it costs about $53 or so. It should be good for about a thousand pages provided you're not printing out full coverage photos and stuff. I'll do a printout in a minute and I'll show you what I mean by that. But uh, generally, uh, it should last longer than your inkjet cartridges do. These laser printers do tend to be a little more efficient. It does support wireless networking, so you can get it on your network connected to your Wi-Fi so all the other computers in your house can connect and print to it or your office. Uh, but I should note that mobile devices are trickier with this. It doesn't have the same compatibility that many other modern HP and other manufacturer printers have, which is that it doesn't work with air print which means that iOS won't have the native printing functionality. It's also not going to work with Chromebooks either. I tried, I used their, their plugin and everything, uh, could not get it to work with Chromebook or uh, iOS. I did have a little better luck on Android after getting the printer hooked up to HP services. They have a plugin uh, that will find the printer for printing from many, not all Android apps. So you will have a little more flexibility if you're using an Android phone or tablet, but not as seamless as I've seen on other HP printers out there. On the back here, it's pretty simple power cord goes in here. You've got a USB connection. Uh, this is required for setting it up. Many HP printers now uh, often let you just get it connected to your network and uh, do it all via the web browser. This one requires a hardwired connection to a computer to get everything up and running initially. So the first computer that it's plugged into can set the Wi-Fi up and then after that everything can connect to it. I had no problems with Windows connecting and installing drivers automatically but I did have to download drivers first on the Mac in order to get it to connect to the printer wirelessly. So it does kind of behave like uh, printers of eight or nine or ten years ago did where you have to get your drivers together, especially on the Mac side. Uh, but it is good if you are printing primarily from computers. Let's take a look now and see how well it can print. All right, so let's print out a quick document. I've got this one on my Mac here. It's got a front page with a large photo, uh, some mixture of text and photos, and then a bunch of text. We'll see how fast all of this comes out. Remember, this is a black and white printer, so uh, these uh, images will print out in black and white. But I will hit print here, and that will get the process going. You can see the printer already comes up to life. It does come up from standby pretty quickly, and you can see here the pages are already coming out. They do rate this at 18 to 19 pages per minute, so it is pretty quick. I think it'll be a little faster than your inkjet printer might be, but uh, as you can see here, everything is coming out nice and sharp. And I'll uh, get the uh, image up here a little closer to the camera so you can see uh, what the quality is. Really decent quality online with other uh, printers that you might be looking at that are lasers. Uh, so really good sharp text here. Prints out very quickly and again a lot more efficient. Now when I say a thousand pages, something like this is probably going to be getting you closer to uh, that mark on that toner cartridge. When you do something like this with a large photo with a lot of toner coverage, that will use more toner than the average. So if you're doing a lot of this printing, you won't see a thousand pages, but you might get closer to it if you're just printing out uh, text on the page like this. And the printhead is rated at 600 DPI, so again, you'll get very sharp text. And if you're coming over from an inkjet printer, uh, this will look a lot better for printing out graphs and charts and text, more so than you would see with an uh, inkjet printer. It'll be a big difference, actually, especially if you were using a uh, cheaper inkjet before. This is not an all-in-one, but it just you know, prints out, but it does a pretty nice job of it, and I like the price. What I don't like about it, though, is the lack of compatibility with Chromebooks in particular, as well as iPhones and iPads. I think that they've been doing it very well on other other HP printers that cost about the same as this one. Kind of surprising this one takes a step back in that regard. A little more work to get it configured on a Mac, but it does work fine once those drivers are installed. Uh, Windows users shouldn't have an issue at all. So I would say this is a very good computer printer. Uh, also fairly okay for Android depending on the app, but it would have been nice to see the universal compatibility that we're seeing on other current HP products. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. 
This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger and Brian Miller. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.